Hey everybody, welcome back to Nexus Core. I may or may not be wearing pants. You'll never find out. Uh, I'm Atlas, and today we have a premium Nubatama deck profile. So, Nubatama um, came out in the Miyagi Academy booster, and after playing around with it in standard, I realized that it is not very good. Uh, the deck tries to go in two different directions, and it does neither very well. Um, so I wanted to see how much the premium deck was, and it was like $40 for the G-Zone and like $20 for the main deck, because <laughs> your mo most expensive card is a triple R that's like 4 bucks. So uh, you can put this together for very cheap in the Grand Steam of Things, and it's very powerful for a premium deck, if anybody remembers Dominate from late Jira. So let's get into this. Uh, your starter is uh, Magatsu Wind from the V-Series, so when you ride on top of him you draw a card. I didn't find any starters that are worth running over him, like there's no, you know, there's no Grenache or uh, you know, Telescope Rabbit or whatever, like the start, no starter trumps the just free card that comes with it, so sticking with that. Um, for your grade threes you have four copies of Kujikiri Kondo, so um, he's a grade 3 with a skill when you ride him on Vanguard Circle, or no, not even. When you ride him on Vanguard Circle, you get a Protect Gift. And then once per turn, if your opponent has four or more cards in their hand, you can Counter Blast 1 to make them discard a card. So the only time you're really going to be using this is if you go first. Um, which, that is a great thing to do, because typically in the early game people don't have a lot of cards. So, making them go from you know, 5 to 4 or 4 to 3, that early in the game is very powerful. The other skill is that on Vanguard Circle, when a card is returned to the opponent's hand, they cannot guard with that grade for the rest of the turn. So if you bounce a grade 1 to their hand, they can't guard with grade 1s for the rest of the turn. Um, you're not often going to use that second skill because you're going to be striding. The important thing is that he has the name, Kujikiri Kondo, and that he gives you a Protect Gift, because the more important card is this. Four copies of Stealth Beast uh, Koku Shigarasu. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to butcher a lot of these names. but um, So I've, I'll, I'll just refer to this as the KFC bird from now on, because that's what everybody does. Uh, it's a grade 3 with 11k. Uh, on Vanna Rearguard Circle, you can Soul Blast 3 and discard 2 Sentinels. So that's why you want something that gives you protect gifts is so you can use them as the cost for him. Um, so if you pay that cost, uh, he gets plus 15k until end of turn, and if your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or greater, you return all of your opponent's rear guards to their hand, and if one or more were returned, they then discard 5. So, the important thing is that you, you want to try and aim for, you know, 4 or less being returned, but this is very easy to pull off at mid-game. Like, there are some games where I have ridden uh, Kuji Kiri Kondo and then called this and then immediately made them, you know, bounce the grade 2 that they've been attacking with earlier and then chucking basically their whole hand. This is half of your win condition, and it's very easy to pull off. And it's fairly easy to do it twice in a game, but you most likely won't have to. The point is you're running this at 4 because you want to see it as often as you can. And riding it isn't the worst thing in the world, because you're going to be striding anyway. So, yeah. Definitely a four of. Four copies of Mandatsu Gale. So, uh, this is the most expensive card in the main deck. Uh, so, on Vanna Rear, when he's placed, you can Counter Blast and Soul Blast and draw a card, and he gets plus 6k for the turn. And then on Rear Guard Circle, after he attacked, you can put it into Soul and return one of your Rear Guards to the hand. So... This thing is freaking great in the early game because it allows you to dig for more cards and maybe get to the Kuji Kiri Kondo that you want to ride earlier. Um, it also allows you to reuse your on-call stills, which is nice. So definitely a four of. The still is just too good and too useful in too many situations to not run it at four. So yeah. Um, two copies of Stealth Road of Liquidation Sudo. So. The big thing about your grade 2 lineup is outside of Midatsu Gale, it kind of doesn't matter what you run, because your grade lineup is the opponent or grade 2 lineup is the opponent's grade 2 lineup. So you can kind of run whatever. 
Some people run the guy that, that gives 3k and then soul charges from the V-series. Some people run that guy that makes two things uh, 11k power. I'm using her. So, um, on rare, when she attacks a vanguard, if you have a Shira Nui on your vanguard circle, she gets plus 2k. So, that's pretty easy to uh, pull off because of the main stride you will be using. Spoiler alert for later in the video. The other skill, and the more important one, is that GB1, uh, when at the end of the battle that your other rear guard attacked the vanguard, so it doesn't have to be yours, um, or it doesn't have to be the opponent's or whatever, uh, you can counterblast one if you do retire the unit that just attacked and you draw a card. And then she loses that ability. So, the, the reason this is worded so weirdly is that this is back in the day when the once per turn clause was use it or lose it immediately. But this is so that you can choose to use it whenever. Although now that they changed once per turn, this it's not needed to say it that way anymore. But either way, she's pretty good because you, she can get rid of dominated units that you don't want sticking around. And can help you plus and dig for more cards. So, yay. Um, two copies of Momentary Stealth Road uh, Sunamasa. So, uh, on... When played on rear, uh, you can give something plus 3k until end of turn, and if it was grade 3 that you picked, you soul charge 1. And then the other skill is at the end of the battle that he attacked, you can soul blast and return it to your hand. So, the important thing is that this allows you to soul charge, so it can help you fuel uh, KFC burn, and it's pretty good-ish early game. I had it at more initially, but uh, being 8k means you can't hit stuff early, necessarily. Um and you want to get that soul charge most of the time, and you can recycle him, so two of. Works out pretty well for me. Three copies of Heat Element Bobo, so... Oh god, I hate this thing. So it's a uh, grade 2 9k GB1. Um, when it's placed on rare from hand, if the number of cards in your damage zone is three or less, you can you counter charge and soul charge, and then give your vanguard one damage. So. This gives you two damage to work with and one soul. Um, I put it in here because, again, the grade two lineup outside of Gale does not matter, and Gize is definitely a thing. So, yeah, this uh, definitely pulls its weight. Later in the game, it is completely useless, but who cares? You're going to be dominating the opponent's board anyway. What do you give a shit about? Um, four copies of Stealth Road to the Night, uh, Sakura Fubuki. Grade one, 8k. When placed, uh, if you have three or more units, you discard a card, and he gets plus 3k. And then uh, if you have one or less cards face up in damage, you draw a card and counter charge. So this is your counter charge engine. It is re reusable thanks to Magatsu Gale, and it's really good, and it was good in standard, and it's good in premium. And it's 10k shield, so yay. Four copies of Stealth Beast Mist Frog. So... I didn't even think about this until I started seeing other lists, but his skill is, uh, he's a grade 1 6k with 5k shield, so still better be goddamn good if it's going to be worth it. Uh, GB1, you put him into the soul uh, when another um, dominated unit attacks during your turn, you can pay the cost. If you do, draw a card, and that unit gets plus 6k for the battle. So this allows you to, uh, if the opponent tries to get around you by like, all right, I'm going to call... Something that can't hit Vanguard when it's dominated. Well, you're like, well, tough titties, because this thing now makes it, you know, makes your 5k trigger 11k or 16k or whatever it happens to be at. And allows you to draw. So this, you know, and gives you soul, which is important for the KFC bird and everything else you want to do. So, super good card. I had it at 2 originally, and then I found myself wanting it more and more. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a 4 of, and I can't really compromise on that because it's too good. Um, four copies of the Stride Fodder, so, you know, you know how Stride Fodders work. There's no Shiranui to search for, but uh, you want to be striding every turn, so, four of. Two copies of Stealth Dryden Dreadmaster, the V-Series version. So, uh, on Vanner Rear, when you uh, place him, so ride or call him, you can drop and draw, and then if you have a uh, Kuji Kiri Kondo Vanguard, you Soul Blast one, the opponent bounces a card to their hand, then discards one. So because of how the do-as-much-as-you-can rule works, uh, 
if they have no field, they just straight up discard a card. And uh, that drop and draw still allows you to search for Kujikiri Kondo or get rid of unwanted cards in your hands and look for other ones. Um, this is a fairly flexible spot, so if you want to run different grade ones for whatever reason, I can't think of any others you might want to run. Like, I don't know, let's say you want to drop a stride fodder and put another one of those in. You can. Uh, I found, you know, he's pretty useful. And uh, yeah, 10k shield, hooray. So onto the triggers, you have two of the counter charge or soul charge heals and two of the V heals. So it seems to me that's the pretty um, straightforward heal trigger ratio. In some decks, I do just the four of of the counter charge soul charge heal, but I don't find myself wanting for resources that much. So yeah, kept two of the V heals because. Uh, and then for and then six crit, so throw all the V crit. And then 4 draw PG, so you want to run all the Sentinels you can, because you want to discard them for the KFC bird, and then 2 V draws. Um, you can run the... what was his name? There was a draw trigger from like the end of G era where you could put it in Soul and give anything 3k, so if you want to do that for your Dominate shenanigans or you know your own board, you're welcome to. I like the extra uh, you know, offense or defense. So I kept the V-heals, or V-draws, sorry. Alright, on to the G-zone. Oh, uh, Protect Gifts, it's the... Yeah, they're, they're Protect Gifts, cool. Um, G-zone, so, uh, four copies of Shiranui Rene. Alright, this thing's like your bread and butter. Um, it's the most expensive card in the G-zone right now, it's $7. Look, looking, looking good, fellas. Um, so, he's a stride. And then once per turn, you can counterblast one, turn a copy of him face up, and then the opponent chooses two cards from their hand, then they call those cards, they are dominated, and they attack the vanguard, their vanguard one at a time with plus 5k power. Um, the opponent can't activate any auto abilities from being called. You can, however, which is cool. And then his other skill is GB3. All of your dominated units get plus 10k in a crit. <laughs> so uh, this thing is really dangerous if you G-guard you know, before striding and then going to him first. Yeah. The other important thing to note is that the way this card works is that if you are playing against Protect Clans, you are going to get shafted. Because uh, the way that Protect Gifts work is that they cannot exist outside of the hand or the guard circle. So if you do Shirinui Rene and the opponent has two Protect Gifts, they can choose those two Protect Gifts for the Dominate still, and then they stare at you blankly, and then you question your life choices. Um, people think that, oh, what, when they just go to the discard pile? No, because you're not discarding them, you're calling them, but then you can't call them, so it just, the skill fizzles. So, against Protect Clans, make sure they have one or less uh, Protect Gifts before you do the skill. It's an act skill, so maybe do the KFC bird and make them try and drop the Protect Gift. It works, I've done it before. Um, but in the event you can't do that, there are other strides to go into. Like, for example, two copies of Mangu Tembu. So, his skill is you act counterblast one, turn a copy of him face up, pick the, uh, an opponent's rear guard, it gets plus 3k for every card face up in G zone. So, if you do this later in the game, it's going to get, you know, plus 12k or something. Then you dominate it, stand it, and attack something else. And then after the battle, it's retired. So, if you're playing against anything not named Pale Moon, Grand Blue, Great Nature, other new Batama decks, you can use this to abuse the opponent without really much commitment. So as long as you have the Counter Blast, you can just make this work. Um, you don't need it at 4 of because it's not that crazy of a skill, but it's a pretty good intermediary stride or just anything to kind of, you know, keep the game moving. Four copies, of, or four copies, two copies of Mujin Lord. So this was the finisher stride from G era. Oh, you know, until Rene happened. But the way this thing works is uh, you counterblast, turn a copy of him face up, you pick X number of rare guards as number of face up cards in G zone on either side, and then those units get plus 4k. And if there are the opponents, you stand them, dominate them, and attack the Vanguard. Or is it Vanguard or anything? Uh, yeah, and attack the Vanguard one at a time. So this can be a finisher if it's like, let's say you Rene them twice and they're not fucking dead. You can. You know, make a you know make a rudimentary board, or if you have a good board, good on you, and then pump it up, and then start dominating the opponent's stuff and attacking their vanguard. Um, 
A lot of people don't really... It's not that they don't get it, but it doesn't really resonate that Domination is multi-attacking, which in a Protect Clan is not very common. Um, Grand Blue can do it because of all the old Jira stuff, but Nubatama is a clan that can multi-attack and rip cards out of the opponent's hand. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it, Dominate is a very strong skill, and this, you know, card is very, or, you know, this stride is very good. Serves a similar uh, purpose to Magu Tembu, but you typically want to use it later in the game, so. Yeah, then, um, so I don't have it right now, but, um... This is what I have in the meantime. So, Enma Stealth Dragon, uh, King Goku Tenva. This is the one from the Trial Deck. So, just start a battle phase, dominate the opponent's Vanguard, stand it, attack at something else. Um, this is if you're being Counter Blast denied, because it's free. So, you just, you know. All right, I'm going to... Uh, oh, you're going to Angel Keys me? Okay, cool. Stand, attack. Like, there, it's it's free. Um, I usually end up having this be the flip target for something else, and when Drachma comes out, I'm going to replace this with it, but for now, it works fine. Um, it's a good budget option. One copy of Rakuto Stealth Dragon Super Morricon. Ah, we all remember this. So, when placed on Vanguard Circle, you Counter Blast 2, or GB2, Counter Blast 2, turn a, co uh, a card face up, the opponent chooses four cards out of their hand, and then binds the rest face down, and then they all get it back to the end phase. So, you want to use this... If you're behind, this is great when you're behind, because then the opponent can have... It doesn't freaking matter how big the opponent's hand is. It goes from, you know, 12 to 4. Like, you minus 8 them with 2 Counter Blast. Um, this is very strong. It's a very strong finisher also. There's not really much else to it. Most of the time, like, Rene himself, like, second stride or G-Guardian into the first one, is itself a finisher, but this is another way you can do it. So, super good, and it's, like, super cheap on TCG Player, which is cool. Um, also... Evil Eye, Hades Emperor, Shirinui, Mukuro. So, it's SGR. Want to know why? I couldn't find the regular GR, and this was only a dollar more. Six dollars. Go get it. So, uh, act uh, once per turn GB2. You can Soul Blast 2 and discard a card. And then uh, flip a card face up in G-Zone. So, typically that... Um, what's his name? King Goku Tembu for this still. But if you do that, you stay in the opponent's vanguard and then dominate it, and then it attacks the opponent's rear guards all at once. So, much like Vermilion or whomever, this allows you to A, steal a twin drive from the opponent's vanguard, B, use any skills the opponent's vanguard has if there are any, typically none, because it's either like a stride skill or... I don't know, it really depends on what you're playing against, but... The possibilities are kind of endless. The important thing is that this allows you to, in essence, do five drive checks. So, this is very good if you're behind. It also doesn't cost a counter blast, so if you're being damage denied, you can use that. Rene does cost a counter blast. So, yeah, super good card. You're not going to use it that often, but it is an option. So, always good. Options are always good. Two copies of Rakuto Stealth Dragon, uh, Gendo Kudakan. I'm terrible at these names. Alright, so it's G-Guard. And when you G-Guard, if the opponent has three or more cards in hand, it gets uh, 5k, and then if they have six or more, it gets another 10k. So, often, this, you know, this is premium. People have big-ass hands. This thing is going to be a free 15k shield most of the time. So, yes, uh, please run. You can run three if you really want to. I found two to be perfectly sufficient. Two copies of Rakuto Stealth Dragon uh, Khan. So, it's when you G-Guard, you can Counter Blast and Soul Blast. Pick an opponent's grade 1 rear guard in the back row, dominate it, and move it to your guard circle. So, now that grade 1s have 10k shield, this got a lot better. Before it was just like, oh, I can take a 7k with 5k shield. Okay. Yeah, this allows you to, um, you know, get rid of on boost skills, or... Mostly it's just the plus 10k shield for a relatively low cost and stealing the opponent's board. Pretty damn good. And then lastly... Uh, Rectomi. Drop and draw G-Garden. Pretty simple. You run six draws, drop that draw trigger you got in your hand, draw something else. Doesn't always happen. Um, at some point you're going to want to run the Flippy G-Guard from... Uh, what's her name? It's like Jinx Stealth Road something. I'll put it up on the screen. Um, so, he, he's pretty, you know, he's pretty good. Uh, I think when, we, when you get the Flippy G-Guard, because that's coming out in the Revival Collection set, I would drop one of the Dominate G-Guards for her. Um, 
because she allows you to make your Mujin Lord or Magu Tembu bigger and more threatening and has more shield. But uh, yeah, this is pretty good for cycling. So that's the deck. I'm not going to do the standard version because this is what it is. It's you cut two or sorry, you cut two of the KFC bird for two um, Void Master, like V, v Series Void Master. You cut out all of the Bobos and the um, Liquidation Stealth Rogues and run two more of the Soul Charge guy and kind of anything else. And then your Grade 1 lineup, you cut out the Frog and the Stride Fodder for the rest of the Dreadmasters and kind of nothing else. Like, I'm not, I don't feel like doing the re that other deck profile because it, there is not much else to it. Um, the intended version of the deck with uh, Magatsu Storm, where you get to multi-attack in a Protect Clan in standard format, is really just kind of lackluster. So, what I'm going to do is later, when we get the second wave of Nubatama, I have all the stuff, I'll make the deck, put it on here, you can see that then. But for now, this thing is freaking insane, I might end up taking it to Spring Fest because it's that good. Um, it's also very cheap to make in the grand scheme of things, like, I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it's like 80 bucks for the whole deck. Um, maybe by very virtue of making this video, it'll hype it up. I don't know, I'm not solemn, we're not solemn vanguard, unfortunately, but that's life. Shout out to Solemn, who is more successful than us. Anyway, um, that was Premium Nubatama, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.